Blues in the School started in 1999 when um, the festival actually had an exceptionally good year and we decided to set aside some money that we thought could benefit the community. And one of the ideas was presented was to do a music education program. So we um, were put in touch with someone in New Hampshire called T.J. Wheeler who had been delivering a Blues in the Schools a version of it in the United States. So that was really the beginning of the program and it was nothing more than a sense can we uh, invest in bringing someone to the community who might be able to uh, talk to our kids about music and music education. The program uh, in the first year was uh, two schools and probably uh, a few hundred kids were involved with it. This year there were 18 schools involved uh, for, two, for a two week period and close to 7,000 students who had an opportunity to participate in some aspect of the program. Um, I guess the, the whole idea was to go out and talk to a lot of the kids in a general way. So go into a school uh, in, in the gym or in an assembly and talk to the kids about what blues music is all about. Give them some examples, uh, maybe have them participate a little bit, but really just expose them to some music that they may not normally have the opportunity to hear. Then the second part of it is really to choose a class or a core group of students. Happy, happy, happy day. Let's bring this out. Oh, happy, happy, happy day. 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 That's when you choose a class to work five days in a row in school. Uh, to work towards a project and that project is usually a presentation for the rest of the school at the end of that five-day period so that's where um, a musician will go in and they'll write some music with the kids or they'll uh, teach them how to build instruments or they'll write poetry or they'll do something that in the end will become a presentation that the school can see um, how far they've come in that short period of time <laughs> 